Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. So this week I'm going to be showing you guys some wedding guest dress inspo. It's a bit of a mouthful. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys some dresses. I'm going to be showing you the first impression. So I basically picked up a range of dresses which I absolutely loved online from ASOS and I'm going to be showing you guys them on and basically the first impression of what it looks like on. I've not tried on anything so we shall see how that goes but coming into the wedding season I feel like this would be quite handy for you guys just to see what I would pick out. I actually have no weddings which I'm going to but I wish I did but I don't. Um, I feel like I'm like a bit too young for people to start getting married but I would love to go to a wedding. I absolutely love weddings. Yeah, I got a bit overexcited, went onto ASOS, which chose all of my favorite dresses, which I would wear to a wedding if I was going to one. So if I've got patchy tan, sorry, I've got like really dry skin here. So the tan doesn't like cling to it, so it ends up going patchy. I've also got a massive spot right on my chest, which is not really ideal, but just ignore that if you see that, you know? So I'm excited. I literally haven't even looked in this parcel. It arrived about two hours ago, so let's see which one is the first one. What the colour, you know? I feel like colour at wedding is so, so nice. Obviously, for the bride, well, the bride's not always in white, but I feel like like a summer wedding, I just feel like colour is so cute. So this one's like this. Ooh, this looks kind of raunchy. So this is actually from In The Style. So I'm gonna pop this on and show you guys. So the first dress looks like this on. I actually kind of love it. I really love this color as well. I feel like satin always clings to my stomach a bit. So I don't always love that. But I feel like if I had some like high-waisted hold me in pants, it would kind of be okay. I've got some skins. And honestly, they literally suck you in. It is the best thing ever. So it's like this at the back, such a gorgeous open back. Absolutely love an open back, certainly for summer. And I feel like this color is just really cute. It's also got a little slit down the side here. And I don't know, I'm actually kind of loving this dress. I love that it's like cut out. I just feel like it's quite flattering. I love that it's like a maxi dress. It's super comfy material. Obviously you're gonna be in a dress at a wedding for like a long time, so. I would definitely want to be comfortable and this dress is so comfortable i'd probably take off my gold necklaces to be honest just because it crosses at the front i feel like you definitely don't need necklaces i just sometimes feel like they get in the way but i feel like this dress would be so cute with some white heels and a white bag like i just feel like that would look really really cute but it is a really lovely dress i'm actually kind of loving this and i feel like this would also be really cute for like some holidays this dress i picked up in a size eight i definitely think it's true to size i wouldn't want to size up and i actually wouldn't want to size down either it's got a zip at the back so it's really easy to put on and yeah this is the first dress it's also a really good length i think sometimes i find dresses a bit too short and then when i put on heels it goes even shorter and i kind of hate that but this dress is a very good maxi length and i feel like with some cute little white heels it would look really really cute so i'm loving this dress okay the next dress i'm going to choose this orange one i've actually kind of forgotten what i picked up to be honest but this orange is looking delicious oh oh my god i love it's like a bandeau dress and it's got this little back I am such a sucker for a cute back. A cute open back, I absolutely love. I just think they are so, so flattering. Okay, I'm really excited to try on this dress. So this is the dress on. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it, to be honest. I feel like it is really cute, but I feel like it's not the most flattering. Like, I feel like it could definitely go tighter here. Also, as you can see, it is kind of see-through. I don't know if you can see my pants. And at the back, you can definitely see my pants through. I don't know if you can see, but I definitely can. Um, it is actually a really gorgeous dress though, and maybe if you weren't wearing black underwear then it would be okay. It's also double lined at the top, which means you don't have to wear a bra, which is really, really good. Annoying about the pants, but I guess you could either go commando or just put on some nude or white pants, and I feel like that could possibly be okay. Again, it's a gorgeous length, it's got a really cute little slit there. Yeah, I actually feel like this dress is quite cute. I wish it was a bit tight around here, like I feel like it is a bit boxy, but... I think it's because the back obviously like droops down here a bit but the back is super cute i literally love it again it's a really comfy flowy dress it's such a gorgeous color for summer again i would probably pair this with white heels and white bag because i don't know what it is about color but i just love pairing it with white just like plain white accessories and then i would obviously just wear like my gold jewelry maybe i would put on a bit of a chunkier necklace just to make it a bit more sort of out there i love orange and gold as well i feel like it's so so nice like such a nice combo and i really do love this dress it's really floaty 
really comfortable, it's really like a thin material which is quite nice for if you're going to a wedding abroad or if it's even a hot sunny day in England. Um, so yeah, this is the second dress. This is, I think, ASOS design and I don't know what size I'm wearing in it. I'm wearing size 8 in this dress. I feel like maybe all of them could be an 8 but I will let you know if it's not. Um, but yeah, I would definitely stay true to your size. I don't know if I would get a 6. I feel like it's quite tight around here because obviously it's a bandeau. Um, can I get into a six? I don't know, I feel like a six would be too tight, but it is a bit like frumpy around here, so maybe a six would be nicer, but then I don't know if it's meant to be fully like sticking to your body, and it is quite nice that it's kind of like just a bit more floaty. I'm not gonna lie, the back is giving. I absolutely love this back. So this is the second dress. Also, I'm well aware that I'm not putting any heels on to style these dresses. I'm just showing you guys like my first impression of the dresses. But I feel like dresses always do look better with heels on as well. Like if you're thinking, oh, I feel like once you add like a heel and a bag, it always just makes it so much better. Um, anyway, the next dress is this one. I definitely don't remember this one. This is a bit more of a neutral colour. If you're more of a neutral queen like myself, to be honest. But... I'm kind of loving these colourful dresses. Wow, I do not know how this works. Right, let me try and put this on and figure this out. But this looks quite complicated. <laughs> this is the next dress and I'm thinking, absolutely not. It doesn't fit. It's really just, it's really complicated. I just had to look on ASOS on how to put it on. But it's really baggy here. Like this is just flopping down and it's not giving. Maybe I need to get a smaller size, I don't know. But this was so complicated. I have put it on a bit wrong. A bit twisted but George isn't in the flat at the moment so I have to do it by myself and it's really hard so if you are getting ready for a wedding by yourself I would recommend this dress because it's literally impossible to tie um I feel like the top is really cute and I think if it was maybe a tad longer and this was like maybe a bit tighter I don't know it's just it's not giving it's not flattering this is obviously so baggy again I don't know what size I got in this dress I don't even know where the label is. I don't want to rip that off. I think probably an eight, but this is also really floppy. It's just really odd. I mean, the back could be cute. It's definitely twisted somewhere around here. I just couldn't work out how to put it on. And the top, I think the top bit would be cute, but the bottom bit is just, obviously, as you guys can see, like that is literally huge. So yeah, I don't think this is gonna be a vibe. Which is kind of sad because I was actually quite excited for this when I got it out of the package, but it's a no from me. I, this doesn't even move. Yeah, no, this is this is not giving, personally. I mean, just no. And moving on to the next dress. That was a bit of a disappointment. Oh my god, I'm really excited for this dress. I don't really know if it's wedding-y though. I feel like this would be really cute at Christmas, like you kind of look like a Christmas present. I am actually really excited to try this on, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's a wedding vibe. I guess it depends what kind of wedding, but how gorgeous. This material is also such good quality. I think this is just an ASOS design. It is. This I got in a size eight. Um, this quality is so good. It's so like thick. It's kind of like a scuba, like stretchy material, but it's really thick. Like that feels really quite sturdy. I'm excited to try this on. This is the next dress and I am absolutely loving it. I can't really work out if I feel like it's a wedding vibe or not. I kind of feel like a big Christmas bow. Like it's kind of giving me Christmas vibes, but I guess it kind of depends on what sort of wedding you're going to. The other ones are definitely very much like summery, spring, maybe like abroad weddings. I don't know. I feel like you could get away with it. I mean, who am I to know? I've literally been to about two weddings in my life and I was about four years old. I would probably wear this to a wedding. This is definitely not a me dress. Like, I'm kind of surprised I picked this, but I'm actually really, really enjoying it. The material is such, such good quality. Like, I actually cannot stress enough how good the material is. It's just such like a thick and comfy material. I feel like I can literally eat anything I like in this dress as well, because there's so much like material going on here. You know, those dresses where you kind of put them on, you're like, oh God. There's no moving around on here. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna eat a three-course meal if that's what they're doing. I don't know. 
But the only thing I would say is this sleeve is kind of baggy and like a bit big. I mean, it's better than it being tight because there's nothing worse than like a tight sleeve around your arm. But I feel like it definitely could be a bit smaller, but I guess you could get it kind of taken in. And it's kind of cute, like baggy, I don't know. But either way, I am loving this dress. I'm definitely not someone who wears red a lot. I absolutely love it. I feel like this would be really cute with, again, white accessories, a white bag and white heels. For it to be a bit more summery, black could potentially be kind of wintry like i feel like that could give christmas vibes like a big christmas present like a christmas bow but gold jewelry i love with this dress i just i'm actually like really surprised at this dress it's got a big zip down the bottom it's literally so easy to put on it's so comfortable like i genuinely feel like i can like bash out any moves in this like when you're on the dance floor i feel like you can dance around it's not going to rise up it's got this little flappy bit to kind of cover down there like, I don't know, I just feel like I can do anything in this dress. I could really throw some shapes. Obviously, I'm really not a dancer. I'm actually so bad at dancing, but whatever. So I think I've already said this is in the size eight. And I think this could potentially be my favorite dress so far. I think it really could be. Okay, the next dress, which I'm gonna fish out. Oh, this one. I actually really like this dress. Like, oh, and the material. Wow, that is so silky smooth. Okay, so this is like this. Again, it's cut out. I think this is ASOS design again. And I got a size eight. So let me try this on. I kind of don't want to take off this dress though. Like I'm actually, I've kind of fallen in love with it. Anyway, let me put on this one. This dress is so comfortable. I actually love this dress. Love the print, it's something a bit different. I love the colors. Like I love this sort of like khaki color. It's so floaty. I feel like if you're going to a hot country, this dress would be absolutely perfect. Like it's so comfy. Like it's really like flattering from the side. It's got a lovely back. So this kind of like goes round and you tie a bow. I think the back here is like kind of meant to be like that. It's kind of like a cow. I can't remember what the word is. Cow neck? I don't know. But either way, I think they've like done that for down there. I think I'd probably prefer it if it was tight but it's still cute i actually really thoroughly enjoy this dress also quite nice because it is something a bit different it's not just a plain colored dress it's got a nice little print on it maybe i prefer it a bit longer but i also kind of like it that it's like like this you could put on some really cute tie heels or something maybe like the heels which like wrap around or even those um what they what they called those like espadrille heels i feel like they would actually look kind of cute for like a really summer wedding espadrille heels Maybe like a little straw bag. That could actually be cute. I just thought I would show you guys the back a bit closer up as well. As you can see, like it kind of sort of like dips down. I think it's okay. I definitely would prefer a bit tighter. Like if that just was like that. I think I would definitely prefer that. But I guess you can get it taken in. Or even because of the bow, you could definitely just clip that. And then the bow would cover it anyway. So it wouldn't really matter. But yeah, this is a really stunning, stunning dress. I love that it's cut out as well. I literally am living for cut out dresses at the moment. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just, sorry about that beeping. I just absolutely love cut out dresses. I find them so flattering. Anyway, the next dress. I can't remember how many I've got left. My goodness, I've got three left. Right, let's go for this one. This looks incredibly out there, but also I love a bit of neon. So this is a Topshop one. This is kind of like a linen-y material, but this looks really cute. Okay, here it is. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Like, it's definitely a bit see-through. You can literally see my nipples through it. So ignore that. Um, it is a really gorgeous style. I love that it sort of like goes down a bit longer there. And I love that it's like really floaty. I love the material. Obviously, as you can tell, it's a bit see-through. It's kind of like a linen-y material. I love that it's got like the knot there. I don't know. I do really like the color as well. Again, obviously I would pair it with white heels, a white bag and gold jewelry, like the rest of the dresses. I don't know what it is about color. I just love pairing it with white, certainly in summer. Um, yeah, oh, look, you can see my pants. So it is see-through. You would definitely need to put some nipple covers on and, or just leave your nipples free, whatever you wish. Um, and wear some nude color pants or no pants for that matter. But yeah, I don't know. It's definitely not my favourite. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's kind of just, I don't think I would wear it. If I was going to a wedding, I don't think I would choose this dress. I definitely prefer some other ones, but it's not awful. It's quite cute. It's very floaty as well. Like it's a nice length. I feel like, you know, 
we can get some nice heels for this and like show off the heels which is quite nice like some white wraparound tie ones I think would be quite cute but yeah this is the next dress I don't know it's all right okay so the next dress oh this dress so this is definitely a bit more my style the other dresses i absolutely love and to be honest so i'm very much like a casual the reason this is here is because it's kind of see through um i don't want to like scar you with my nipples but yeah so my style is definitely very much like casual street style like i literally live in leggings trackies baggy jeans leather jackets blazers like that's about it so when i then put on a dress when i've got like a dressy occasion i absolutely love dressing up and i love putting on like these maxi dresses and like i absolutely love them but i feel like they're just then because it's so different to what I normally wear, like when I put on these dresses, I'm literally like, oh my goodness, like I don't really know how to act. I feel really like girly and just, I don't know. I don't know how to like act in these kind of dresses. I absolutely love it. And for these occasions, like I really do love wearing sort of like long maxi dresses like this. And like when I go on holiday, I love to put on like a lovely like summer maxi dress. But yeah i can't remember what the point of the story was oh yeah this next dress is definitely more my style online it looks really lovely and it's kind of this blazer dress i didn't actually know but it's like a linen material which is so so nice this is from fourth and reckless but on asos and i got a size small which is an eight um i'm gonna try this on for you guys but i feel like this is gonna be my cup of tea guys i absolutely love this dress but should i tell you what i've just realized you so can't wear this it's white like that is so against the wedding guest rules like you literally can't wear this dress it is white you would look like the bride um i didn't really know how to tie this but i kind of like this bit floating down either way it's so irrelevant because you can't wear this dress sorry but you can't that is literally an unwritten rule unless obviously the bride says but come on like if anyone turns up to my wedding in white they're literally not getting let in and it potentially be a friendship break it it just is just not happening um so yeah this dress is a bit relevant but i'm not gonna lie i do absolutely love it so if you've got another occasion this dress is absolutely beautiful i feel like this would be really cute in summer i would actually love to wear this dress <laughs> it's really annoying because i was thinking oh my god this would be so cute with like really bright colored shoes i've got these like green block colored heels and i feel like this dress would look so cool with the, like they're like neon green like really chunky heels but yeah i actually really like this floating down i feel like it's quite flattering and like i love the belt around the waist it like really cinches you in again it's like then really floaty around this area which i absolutely love it's a really good length actually i'm actually i think i'm actually going to keep this not for a wedding dress occasion or i'm going to a wedding anyway but i might actually keep this for just like going out i feel like this is actually a really gorgeous dress I also love that it's linen because it makes it just like that bit more summery. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, that looks quite cute. You could kind of go like that. Yeah, I actually quite like that. Anyway, this dress is absolutely gorgeous, but not for a wedding. It's a little close up. I feel like I really love a tie around the waist. I can't really move your arms though. Like when I try and like move my head, my hair is a bit tight. So like if you're dancing, you'd kind of be like this because you can't really move your arms any higher so if you're going somewhere where you need to dance maybe this dress isn't the most appropriate but if you're going for like a nice dinner or like a fancy summer lunch or the races oh my god this dress would be so cute at the races not as a wedding guest this is not a good wedding guest outfit but any other occasion absolutely love it definitely gonna keep it because this is just my kind of dress i've just realized i didn't show myself unpackaging this dress i started getting changed and i was like it's just too late now um but this is the last dress and i love that it's a third sleeve i don't know what people think about black at a wedding but there's something i would do because color as you guys probably know is not like the biggest thing in my wardrobe but i feel like this you could really jazz up you could wear with like a really colorful pair of heels you could get like a really cute colorful bag and i feel like you could actually make this look really summery it's a really gorgeous like satin material i literally love sleeves like this i think they are so so flattering like i just feel like they look really cute it's kind of like a sarong style so it's like a dress and then you sort of like tie this second bit of material around and it kind of looks like a sarong and i feel like it actually looks really really cute i love that it's one arm it's really floaty it's really comfortable again it's got quite a cute back it's just like one shoulder and then it's got the little cut up bit here 
I got this in a size eight. You could really definitely make this more summery than it looks. Maybe even with my like neon green chunky heels or if you've got a pair of like really cute summery like pink heels or just like any color really. <laughs> Obviously then I would just pair it with gold jewelry. I'd maybe put on like a bit of a chunkier necklace than these and maybe like some chunkier hoops just to jazz it up a bit more. But this is a really gorgeous dress. I'm actually really enjoying this. I love that it's like short. It's something a bit different to the other ones. I think I've only got one of the short one. Yeah, the red one. Obviously the white one was short, but that's a no-go. I love that it's got this material around here because it's satin. I don't know if anyone else finds this, but I find satin just really clings, clings to my lower stomach. And I hate what it looks like. Certainly in like pictures, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. But because this has got the second piece of material, I'll kind of show you guys. So it's like this. And then obviously you wrap it around. I kind of wish they did this in a cool bright colour. I might actually have a look. I think I only saw a black one though. Even if this was in like a khaki green, I feel like that would be really beautiful. Or like a bright pink or like a bright orange. I kind of want this dress in a colour for Mykonos or like a cream. That would be cute. Anyway, we're talking about weddings. This was my last dress. I can't remember where this one was from. Missy Empire. Interesting. I always forget when I go on ASOS because obviously you just do an ASOS order. I always kind of forget like that how many different brands they do. So this is my last dress. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you some inspo if you're going to a wedding, which I'm not even doing, but I kind of hope I am. I feel like the invitation would have come by now if I was going to a wedding this summer. So let's not get my hopes up. Maybe next year. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have had a lovely weekend. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you have. Comment below your favourite look. I will also leave all of the links in the caption below so that if you guys want to shop, it's super easy. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got to the end, you are absolutely fabulous. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.